Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have a bottle of, um, well, it's not Barolo. It's Nebbiolo from the Langhi, uh, made by a guy who does make some Barolo, Renato Ratti. Uh, but this is his uh, Occhetti um, Langhi Nebbiolo 2015. It's got a rather a picture of a rather smart soldier on it, and it's on the back. It says, our historic label, The Soldier, was conceived by my father, Renato Ratti, to remember the deeds of the Piemontese regiments in the defence of the Langhi. Um, signed Piero Ratti. So let's see whether um, it's a suitable homage to the soldier. Oh, it's one of those wines that I'm probably going to have to do rather a lot of swirling and um, probably not during the course of this video. Uh, that would be a bit turgid, wouldn't it? Turgid to make it turbid. See what I did then? Um, but um, uh, the, I smell it and it's got this really youthful smell of um, a little bit of reduction in there, blackcurrant parcels. Um, and uh, there are layers that each time I do a little swirl and a little sniff, more comes out so that you're starting to get a little more of that red fruit rather than the, um, the, the black currant reduction that uh, was the first thing I noticed. Then there's a, a slightly floral character coming through, uh, a touch, uh, touch of spice too. Uh, I, yeah, I think I'm going to be doing uh, I'll, be, I'll be back in a moment, I'll do a bit of swirling. And it's slowly coming out of its shell. It's getting a little bit uh, richer, deeper, earthier. Uh, it was quite a spiky type of flavour uh, uh, aroma to start with. And now it's, um, it's almost like it's filling out as it's uh, getting out of its time in bottle. It's come out of a slightly coolish cellar. Um, and uh, as a result, it's in, in, in the warmish warmish November air, actually not quite November, it's like October the 29th, uh, but slowly coming out of its shell, so I'm, I'm going to have a slurp now. One of those wines that you want to chew and ponder, um, and as with uh, when I was smelling it, more and more comes out each time you sort of, you swill it around your mouth and go, ooh, there's a little bit of Victoria Plum in there, there's a little bit of raspberry, there's a little bit of... Uh, uh, something almost Kirsch-like, something, uh, one of those slightly perfumed, uh, perfumed liqueurs and as, as if there's, there's something, as well as the rose petals, there's something herbal, as some parts of the world say, uh, something herbal going on there. Um, and uh, yeah, it feels like a wine, that it's, uh, what time are we now, about, about half past five in the evening. Uh, it, f it feels like a wine where we'll be eating about seven o'clock. And I think by then it will have a chance to really come in, really hit its stride as it is at the moment. Young, fresh, perky, uh, but I think that there is a more uh, a deeper and more interesting and more knowing style, a more, more knowing type of, uh, type of character that's going to come out, but only with time. As it is at the moment, uh, yes, it needs a little bit of time to come out of its shell, but uh, I think the wait's going to be worth it. See you soon.